Hello, I'm Maria. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. And today I would like to show you how to make this lovely tote post-it note holder. Now, this is not my original idea. I saw it on Pinterest and I thought it was so cute that I, that I thought I would like to make it. And I've made a couple of them. So wait till the end of the video. I've got three other samples to show you. Now the one today is made with the stamp set Friends Are Like Seashells uh, with its coordinating dies. Also, I use the uh, seashell paper as well. Okay, I just want to get my supplies, what you'll need. First of all, you'll need some stamp sets, and these are the three that I used, Early Espresso, Sahara Sand, and Soft Succulents, which is one of our new in colors. Not available for you to order yet, but give it a little while. It, the time is coming soon. Okay, and you'll also need a couple of the stamps. Now, these are available. The uh, Friends Are Like Seashells is still available. Uh, as a bundle actually until the end of this month after that it is carried over but not as a bundle okay here's the other stamp you also need some adhesive and i'm using the stamp and seal some ribbon which is for the handle now i'm using a retired ribbon and so if you can find a ribbon that looks somewhat like rope this is the braided uh, trim, and uh, what is it? It's this one, um, braided burlap trim. I thought it was perfect for a sea-themed <laughs> three-day object. I've also used a soft succulent. Now, if you don't have this, you can use just jade, which the color is very similar. And my favorite pick tool. The other thing you'll need is uh, a dauber that is for the Sahara sand ink. Now, as you can see, I have dedicated daubers, which means I have a dauber for each color and I just label it. Okay, you'll also need um, some supplies. And in addition to the paper, and I will go over that, you'll need a post-it note. Now, if you have one that's white, that's preferable. I just had the yellow. All right, so let's get started. I just want to go over the uh, paper sizes, the supplies that you need. Now, I'm also going to use my, my trusty silicone pad. And for the basic, got all my little bits and pieces here. For the basic post-it note cover, this is three and a quarter by seven. And what I did was I scored it at three and a half, sorry, three and a quarter, then turned it and scored it at three and a quarter again. Now you'll notice that the edges look a little bit darker. And what I did is I took my dauber and I, with Sahara sand ink, I sponged all the edges, including the edges where I uh, did the, um, yeah, where I did this. Oh, sometimes I get lost for words. Right. Okay. So this is the uh, the cover. Now on for the front cover, and the the cover goes up this way, not this way, but like a little tote. So the front cover, what I did was I I matted it with early espresso, and then I took some of the designer paper that looks just like sand. And I'll just show you the paper. It's beautiful paper. This is what it looks like. And the opposite side looks like this. And actually I cut each of these individual pieces out to decorate the front and the inside. So that's for the front. Now I did the same for the inside, a piece of early espresso and another piece of the designer paper. And then for the lid, for the inside, I took another piece of Sahara sand and this is where the post-it note will go on. Okay, now I'll show you how to put the handles on, but let's um, put this together first 
and I want to start with a bit of stamping and we're going to stamp on the front of the designer paper and just to give you the measurements the early espresso is uh, three by three and this is two and three quarters by two and three quarters and all edges of the designer paper and the crumb cake are sponged using this and the um, Sahara sand ink. Okay, a little bit of stamping the front and I have a couple of pieces of white, basic white. And where's my other little piece? Here it is. Okay, now on this, I one of the stamps on the sand and sea, sorry, friends are like seashells, so just get it out, is this little, and while I've got this out, I just wanted to just mention something about photopolymer stamps. A number of people have asked me, how come when I first use a photopolymer stamp, the ink kind of pills under it? It's not like a nice, uh, clear uh ink inking and so when you stamp on it there's kind of spaces in it. it's like a little bubbles well what that is is then in the manufacturing process sometimes a little film gets left on the um the, the stamp and so you need to condition the stamps when you get them just rub your thumb on it like this and if you don't want to do that on your on your jeans whatever but if you rub on them like this that gets rid of the little film the other thing I wanted to mention about the new photopolymer stamps is that when you get them the new, on the inside of the cases, usually we're used to the printing being done uh, right on the uh, plastic. Sorry, I can't get this out now. All right, fingers, maybe on this side. Here we go. Okay. Let's see where the images are now so that they show through on the inside of the lid. And when you get your stamps, here it is right here. They will be on a sheet like this, covered with this. So you take this off and you take your stamp and they're on there pretty good and you just match it up and put it right on the cover so that all of your stamps are, you can see them on the inside and the images are right on the insert. Okay, so that's the way the new uh, photopolymer stamps come. Okay, so this one, I have conditioned it, I've rubbed it a number of times and I'm gonna use the soft succulent ink. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, stamp it a number of times just on the front a on this side and a couple on this side okay the other embellishments will be in this area now I'll just quickly take my marker and just kind of Fill these little, don't be fussy, just kind of fill them in a little bit. And like I said, if you don't have the, and you won't have the new in colors yet, you can use Just Jade. And I'm not going to do these because that'll be covered by the embellishments that I'm going to put there. Just where I think it's going to show, just here. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do with that. And the other stamping is I'm going to do a sentiment for the inside and a sentiment for the outside. Sorry, a sentiment for the inside. And then another thing I'm going to stamp this embellishment is this little, um, now I knew the name of this. Um, it escapes me again. Um, I'm sure you guys are probably yelling at me, at me right now with the name of that. It'll come to me. And I'm going to use Sahara sand and stamp on that. And 
it'll come darker because I'm going to I'm going to uh, sponge the edges. Now this is the die that comes with the set, and I'm going to die cut it. Well, I've already die cut it, which you probably suspected. Okay, so that's that stamping. Here I've got it die cut, and I have stamped the edges. The other um, is a sentiment that is going to go on the inside. Love you to the beach and back. I thought that was so cute. Okay, and I'm going to use early, early espresso ink because I thought that kind of was a little darker and stood out a little better. And I have it... Uh, already pre-cut. Love you to the beach and back. Whoops, be nice if I left that on the table. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to sponge the edges of that. Sorry, I should leave them open. That snap must make quite a bit of noise. I find that this just finish it off so nicely. There, that's that. Maybe I'll leave that open. Okay, now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to matte, apply this to here, and I'll use my, my trusty uh, Stampin' Seal, and I always like to test it on, make sure it's going properly, and now it's gonna give me a bit of trouble. There it goes. Okay. All right, what's going on here? Do you have or ever have that when you're right in a project? There it comes. It was just a little fussy here. You're in the middle of a project and you either can't find your glue or the glue doesn't work. Anyway, I have those days too. All right, now I'll just mat this with this. And I've got another one for the inside. I'm just gonna mat those two together. Here's the other designer paper for the inside and it's the same size. And I'm just gonna add those two together. very straight. Let's see if I can straighten that out. There we go. Got a little glue on my fingers. It makes things that's better. Okay, so I'm going to put those aside and I'm going to add the embellishments. Now what I did, and I think I mentioned this already, is that I cut some of these images right out of the designer paper using a pair of scissors. And after I cut them, this is what it looked like. And I thought, well, I don't like these raw edges. So again, I took my, sorry, my Sahara sand and my dauber and sponged the edge. There's that glue on my fingers. There, and I've done that with all of them. I I cut this one and this one and this one. And this also belongs there. And this is how I arranged it. And certainly you can arrange it any way you wish. And of course, no two are going to look exactly the same. That's kind of how I had it. So lay it out the way you'd like it, and then you can just take it off very gently, and you can put each on 
back on one at a time. Now you can use a liquid glue if you like. Now with this one I'm going to use dimensionals. And this one as well. Whoops. I probably should have added this to the front of the um, note holder before I put these on, but. And this one, I, I put a dimensional up at the top, but not on the bottom, because you can see it's kind of overlapping. So I'm just kind of putting the dimensional in to kind of fill that space. And there, that is, that's the front. And now if I bring my holder, here it is. And lay it so that the open flap is towards the top. And when you do that, you open it up. You find that easier to do that. And just apply some adhesive. All right, come on, see what I mean? I should have, um, oh, my adhesive doesn't want to work. I'm getting some on there. There we go. Put some down here. All right. So there we go. There's the top. I want to make sure that that's right. All right. Well, I bet it sideways. If you do it quickly enough, your adhesive hasn't set, and then you could. There we go. Okay. So now, actually, before I do anything else, I'm going to add the handles. And there's one and two. Now, each of the handles is about five and a half inches long. And what I did was I cut a strip of 11 inches, folded it in half, and then cut it so that each of these is five and a half inches. And I'm going to add it to the inside and get my adhesive. Just going to put a strip there. I'm going to lay that there. Fold her over and lay it there. And I'll do the same on the other side. Oops, I'll need some here. Here. Let's see how I, sorry, see how I did the, the top. Just hold it up here, make sure this is even. It is. Okay, now I have cut a couple of little strips of, where are they? Two of these, one of them is hiding. Oh, here it is. And what I have done, they are three and a half by half an inch. And I'm just going to add them over the top here. That gives a little bit more strength to the um, to that ribbon handles and also covers it up. So I'm just going to add a little bit more adhesive. And notice I sponged the edges of that as well. That covers it up. Now I'll do the same thing here. Okay, so here is uh, the front. I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to put my matted designer paper here, okay? Put that 
over a bit. Hmm, not very going in a straight line today. Okay, there we go. You can see now why I put the strip there. You don't see the handles. They're kind of covered up between the two layers. Okay, now I'm going to put a piece of cardstock here, and that'll be underneath the post-it note. Now, as I said, if you have white ones, that's perfect, and you can stamp on the front of it. Whoops. I said I'm not going in a straight line. Honestly, I didn't have anything to drink today other than coffee. And again, that's three by three. Okay, now I'm gonna get the post-it note. And this is a three by three po post-it note. I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the back. And I have it so that it's, the fold end is down. The open end, sorry, is down. So that when you close the tote, you have access to the post-it note. Now, if these were white, I would actually stamp an image on here. All right, now I'm going to decorate the inside of that and that's where this comes in. There we go. Now, if you have uh, time, you can cut a few more of these images out and put them on the inside section. I have done that. So that's an option as well that you can do that. Now, there's one other thing that I have some embellishments that are retired, but I thought they were perfect for this particular project. I'm sure in your stash you can find some retired embellishments as well. These are the, um, the itty bitty epoxy, and this kind of reminded me of a starfish. So I thought I'd put that there. And you can put any embellishments there you like. And I can put another one here. And I have a small one. I have a small one. Okay. Where did it go? Right there. And I'll just put it right there. And that is my post-it note tote, I think it's called. But you can call it whatever you like. So that's one I did with that. I'll just show you some others that I have done. Now this is one of our new in colors. It's pale papaya. And this is one of the new uh, hand, hand um, sketched uh, papers. Um, this is, of course, is from the True Love Designer series paper. So this, and this is the new in color ribbon, Fresh Freesia. And here's another one, um, similar. This is with a new stamp set as well. And this is the Sop Succulent in color. Now in this one, I actually covered up the post-it note. I just put a little cover on it did that. This is with some new products. And this is, you probably recognize the butterflies. And this is a vellum uh, square that is actually being carried over. And wishing you uh, a little extra happiness just because you're you. So these are some post-it note totes that I have made. And this is the one that we made today. So I hope you enjoyed this project and that you give it a try. Thank you very much for watching.